Hey guys, Media Bottle, it's Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here with the Saturday morning update. Let's look at the bullet points first. So we've got a northwest flow followed by two storm systems. The northwest flow is still looking pretty juicy for some areas and it kicks in late tonight into probably 219, 220, 221 for a number of areas like um, the Wasatch, the Tetons, especially the Tetons, and lots of Montana and northern Idaho. So we'll look at that coming up. Um, those two storm systems will run us all the way through 223 and 224. They'll wrangle a lot of the moisture, grab a ton of wind energy, and also some colder air and produce some nice uh, widespread totals. And a few deep bullseyes, including the Tetons and the Wasatch, in some parts of Colorado as well with this uh, pattern that's settling in. Let me just show you what this looks like. So I went ahead and marked this. This is water vapor. You can see the key features. Busy Pacific, there's uh, two branches of the jet that are active right now. So what's going to happen is that low that's diving down south of California is helping to kind of bend the jet. There's another low coming up and around. And so that's what's going to develop that northwest flow I marked in the uh, lime green right there, which will really kick all of this off. And again, that starts late tonight across the northern tier of the Rockies. And then those two lows will come in, wrangle that moisture, bring cold air with it, and a lot of wind, and then move everything to the south. And it's possible that they become Albuquerque lows. Both of those lows could end up around Albuquerque. So they're going to run the full gamut of the west. All right, so I did actually write about this this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com, deep bullseye, snow forecast through 227. This is chrystomer.com. Take a look at it. I uh, look at the uh, jet pattern at 227. So I'll take this full. On 227, really in waiting. So after the last storm goes through on 225, there's some high-pressure ridging that takes hold of the Intermountain West. And you can see on 227, we're really just waiting on that trough of low pressure, which is out over the Pacific, for it to swoop in. And that happens late February into early March. Um, there is definitely some indications of lower atmospheric pressure anomalies on March 1st across the West. Um, and so that's that trough that you see there that would be moving in. But there is going to be a drier, quiet period probably late 225 through like 228 across parts of the Intermountain West, just sort of waiting on that pattern to come in. Um, let's go back to the blog here. And I did look at timing. I'll take this full forecast radar and satellite. So there's Sunday morning northwest flow. You can see it helping to push that snow in. Look at the Tetons getting nailed. There's a Tuesday. Uh, there's Wednesday morning. The big low moves down towards Albuquerque. That's the first of two lows. You can see the second one hanging behind that. That's 223 late in the day. The second low will come through 220, late 223, 24 into 25, and then it exits and we get into that quiet period. So we've got a lot of snow ahead and cold air and wind for the west. I actually broke this out. Uh, I looked at Jackson Hole, the key snow time frame for Jackson Hole. There's a lot of snow ahead for a number of days. Storm skiing, obviously 220 and 221. Um, big snow, 221, 222 will be an awesome day. Aspen snow mass, you can see that the biggest day is 222. Alta, a couple of very big days, 221, 222. Um, so take a look at that on the blog, and then I went into my forecast totals. I'll show you these full. So today through the 20th, this is primarily northwest flow snow, and it is just, it's just looking really good for the Tetons and big sky. Bridger Bowl, most of Montana will get in on this. And that will blow down and spill over some snow into the Wasatch and into the central and northern mountains of Colorado through 220. Those numbers may be a little bit low for the Wasatch and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. I'd say at least expect those numbers through 220 with that northwest flow. All right, here's period two, 221 through 227. Really nice snow here. Um, another two to three feet up there in the Tetons. Another couple or three feet through the Wasatch. Potentially um, a solid foot through most of Colorado. Maybe two feet in some areas. Um, you can see what I'm looking at now. Again, it just all depends on, you know, if we get those two lows to set up over uh, near Albuquerque. And then obviously the cold air will help to contribute to this. And there's going to be a lot of wind energy. That's one of the wild cards. That could really generate some heavy uh, snow and some deep totals in a few areas. So... Um, you're looking at uh, most likely scenarios here. Numbers could be higher. 
Um, I got a few specialty maps here. Here's Southern Colorado grand totals, 218 through 227. Um, one, two, three feet of snow likely. Um, even snow all the way down into Durango with this. Let's go to the central and northern mountains here. These numbers have fluctuated over the last few days, but looking at about a foot across Summit County in the tunnel with more as you go Vail West and certainly more in the northern mountains of Colorado, you know, where we're looking at two, three feet of snow up there, benefiting from the northwest flow plus the two storm systems. Um, let's go to the Wasatch. Grand totals of basically two to three feet here. Um, these are most likely scenarios. Again, the numbers could be higher. I've seen evidence of higher numbers than this, but um, two to three feet seems pretty solid at this point. And up into the Tetons, these numbers really have not changed over the last few days. Looking at four feet of snow up here between 218 and 227, it's going to be a, a very good period. And this is going to be a cold, dry, light snowfall up here. Um, light in terms of density. So it's going to be cold smoke, especially um, during the heart of this, once the cold air settles in at all levels. One more stop. Let's go to the northeast. Um, 218 through 227, it looks like we've sort of settled on 1 to 2 feet for most places, 20 to 25 inches, a few heavier pockets. But the bulk of this falls on 223, and then very late in the period, there's a second storm system, um, probably 226, 227. So at least we've got some snow in the forecast there for the northeast that looks to be pretty heavy. Um, but this is going to be a great period. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll keep things fine-tuned. The uh, northwest flow across the northern tiers kicks in late tonight, and then we're off and running. Thanks, guys, for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.